Hello everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to a brand new episode of American Truck Simulator. And guys, I have a very special episode. We are in Mexico. In Mexico, yes, I'm trying out the Reforma Mexico mod. It is absolutely amazing. Let me show you. Look at this. So, uh, US. Where does US end? Uh, U.S. ends like this. This is the boundary here that you can see. This is San Diego, Tijuana, or Tijuana. And then Ensen Ensenada, or Ensenada. And we have this peninsula, this Mexico peninsula, this entire thing. And then we have Mexico itself, Urez. Oh my god, look at how extensive this is. And this is legit. This... Uh, seems to be higher quality than the America and Canada mod I had. Uh, except for Remod. Remod was absolutely insane and I feel like this is a very high quality mod. So today we're going from Ensenada. We're going all the way to this windy road. And then I think this is a mountainous trek. It's going to be tough. And then we have a simple straight highways. Ooh. Are these way stations? What are these? I have no idea. So let's check this mod out. I'm using my regular Western Star, I believe, as the trailer. It's a truck. And I absolutely love it. So let's get started. Now, before this, I did make an episode. Uh, coming to Mexico from US and I was using an Audi and I was driving recklessly. I ended up flipping it over several times. I don't know that episode will make it to YouTube or, or if it already has. Uh, but let's see. Let's skip right to it. There we go. Oh yeah, we are clear. Uh, this video I have... Uh, uncranked the volume of the game it was too loud before i think so maybe if this is not loud enough i'll uh crank it up again and as you can see my truck is a lot more nimble and that's because i've changed i've changed uh the settings so when i was driving that audi um i made the steering and the throttle and everything a lot like it cranked it to full when I give it gas, when I give it power, it uh, gives it 100% power and it's not smooth or slow like a truck. Uh, so that's why we're going to see a little bit of a difference here. But man, Mexico, this mod is looks amazing. 27 degrees Celsius outside right now. Let's merge to the right lane because we're going to take a right exit. Guys, please don't forget to like the video. Please don't forget to... Comment on the video how you found this mod, how you like this video. And if you haven't already, subscribe and join this beautiful, amazing, amazing community. We are almost at 900 subscribers um, at the time of recording this video. Let's see when I reach or when we reach 1000 strong. I really cannot wait. Look at this. Have you ever seen anything like this in this game? Look at that. That looks amazing. People standing outside. There's people parked right outside of these apartment buildings. They look sort of low end. Oh man, look at that arid, arid area. Mountains. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh no. Okay, we are good. Oh yeah, 70 miles per hour, I believe, is the speed limit. We're gonna crank this puppy. Wow, look at that. I want to go off-road here, and I want to see if it's jumpy or not. Oh wow, it is. Oh, I'd love to get a few hops. Now everything is in Spanish. This is gonna be interesting. All the signs, everything is in Spanish. 70 kilometers per hour. Ooh. Okay, we're going a bit too fast then. 
70 kilometers per hour, but we're just following that ugly, ugly Buick in front of us. Whatever speed he's doing, we're going to be doing. Guys, how's life been for you? Uh, it is... It's, what, mid-spring, late spring, and the temperatures just aren't cooperating. They're still chilly and cold and rainy outside here. We're not in Britain. We're in, we're in Canada. It's Toronto. Come on. <laughs> Give me sunny, warm weather already. Uh, our typical temperature is supposed to be a lot warmer. A lot warmer than what it actually is right now. Look at the amount of buses that are here. Damn. That's a lot of buses. Ooh. Look how banked this road is. I gotta show this to you guys. Oh my god. Look at how banked that is. Oh, I love it. This is the type of realism I expect from the game. This is a normal thing in Rig and Roll. A game that came out so many years ago. And it, even it has banked roads and ramps. So it's good to see it in a mod. Even though it's not in the base game. It might be in the base game, but I've never noticed it, which is a bit disappointing. But yeah, this is just so cool. Oh, we're going uphill now. Oh, we're going to struggle here. Uh, sky looks interesting. Um, oh, we're going to go downhill now. The morning sky looked absolutely beautiful. The cloud clouds were painted orange. My god, what is with these bus? So many buses. I am applying the brakes here, the engine brakes. Okay, now we're going uphill again. That's a lot of traffic. And that brutal, that brutal um, traffic mod is, it's, it, it really is brutal. I'm so happy that we can actually have so much more traffic in this game. And we're not lagging or anything. But wow, look at look at the elevation change on this route. We're going downhill, we're going uphill. Really cool. Engine brake, engine brake, engine brake. Yeah, I don't like how the lane markings are sort of passing out. Oh wow, they were coming at full speed. Good thing I cranked up the sensitivity on the steering and the power and the braking. Extra aggressive. That's why I'm able to drive right now or else we'd be all over the road. Oh yeah, this is a tough trek. I'm enjoying this. It is, I believe it's morning right now. Uh, so hopefully the sun comes out. I don't know where the heck the sun is. Ooh, we're seeing a little bit more greenery here now. Uh, Tijuana, Tecati, wait, Tijuana is the other way. Oh, right, right, we're gonna take a right turn here. Wow, I thought we were like halfway through the journey already, but no. We're not even a quarter way. We're gonna be a quarter way, I think, when we take that right turn. Uh, do we need fuel? I can't even see. How much? Oh yeah, we got enough fuel. We don't need it. Because these delivery times are a joke too. They're so short. Mexicali? Yes. There we go. Okay, I want to see where the heck the sun is. Right above us, I guess. There we go. Oh yes, look at that. That is absolutely beautiful. 80 kilometers per hour. Wow. Uh, the speed limit in Mexico are very slow. It says in thousand meters we're supposed to do something here. Not sure what. Uh oh. Spanish, translate, translate. Ooh. We are at the border. That is so darn cool, guys. Here we are back. 
Look at this. I actually need to pay toll here. Pay 25 bucks. Toll paid. So this is not the border. It's a toll. Oh, wow. I love this. This is what I... This is what I always wanted. No, no. Give me away. Look at this. Oh my god. That, that... Whoa. That was a huge speed bump. <laughs> yes. Rumble strip. Oh my god. Look at this view. That is absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Wow. Sorry. Okay. We can get back to it. Yes. Hold on. Let me quickly do... What's the chance of weather right now? Uh, route... Steering... Where's the weather? Uh, time, zone, rain, probability will do, let's say, between a quarter and a half. Because I don't know what kind of weather it is right now. It's like I can't even see the sun. Um, you know what I need to do? I need to disable the weather mods, the brutal weather. And the spring weather. Uh, I keep changing between the two. And I want to see what the vanilla game looks like because honestly, we just installed the vanilla game and uh, can't even see it anymore. Whoa, what is this? Uh, I can't even uh, tell like how the vanilla game looked like because we had it for such a little time before we modded the heck out of, th out of this game again. Wow, well, good thing I have a very sensitive steering wheel right now. Hey, if anyone wants to donate a steering wheel and gas pedals and all that stuff, I'm all ears. Let me know. Because <laughs> it'll be just a treat driving this on it. Oh, you know what? Banked roads don't work because the AI cars just float over them. I think that's what I just saw right now. But oh, man, this is amazing. Failure damage is 0%. Whoops. What happened? Did I hit anyone? Look at how banked it is. Oh my god, yes. And what does the Spanish mean? I don't know. Oh, look at that view. I don't know where the trucks is, but... Call box. Hey, they have the call box in English. Whoops. Oh my god. Ow. Oh, sorry, sorry. Didn't mean to. Oh, we're going uphill now. We are going seriously uphill. 60 kilometers per hour, yeah. I don't think that'll be an issue here. Oh man, I am so enjoying this. I can't believe it. These mods really transcend the game. Um, you see details that the vanilla game just doesn't has. Doesn't have, I guess. Oh, it's slippery. Look at these signs. The, the mod makers actually like made all of these signs they're not just it's not just the vanilla uh, game assets they're using at least that's what i'm noticing right now oh we got rumble st strips what is this that's just to stop and i can actually hear the windmill that's so cool this driving is so intense, guys. I cannot really look outside and stuff. Keeping me busy and uh, I'm just drooling over the banked roads. Like, wow. Ooh, that's very sharp. Um, I know I've said this a long time ago in one of the episodes, but I really want to try or play Rig and Roll again. That's... The most amazing trucking game ever made. It's better. I don't know if you guys will want to hear this, but it's better than American Truck Sam. Uh, the only fall or the only negative thing about Rig and Roll is uh, 
Oh, wow, what? So rude. Oh my god, this guy just cut me off. Um, the only downside of rig and roll, and I think is the reason that, that game wasn't a hit, is because all the deliveries are timed, and you're racing against other 18 wheelers doing the same delivery. Even though that's the only arcade thing about that game. Besides that, it's more realistic, it's far better looking uh, than this game in every way. Like the physics in that game is so impressive. As I said, uh, all the ramps to the highways, off ramps, on ramps have uh, are banked. And um, one time I was just driving my truck really fast and uh, the highway was turning and it's going under a bridge and uh, it was sort of going downhill and I actually lost control and spun out. And that was just so amazing. I could see the tire marks on the highway and uh, you know like knowing physics a bit you know having a little bit of driving experience playing video games you know when you lose control during certain situations like how your vehicle is supposed to go out of control where you're supposed to spin or slide to and that's exactly what happened in that game so that was it was so impressive and it takes place in california and the sunlight and they've done an amazing job with the lighting as well it looks so cheerful but uh, the rain is next level i can't believe it for being an old game now the rain and the wiper when you put your wipers on it actually smears away the water and you don't see that in this game i've i only seen it i guess with mods uh so that game is just wow uh it's too bad they haven't made another one and that game, I waited for that game for seven years, I think. And the reason that game took so long to make is because they kept delaying it. Uh, the Russian um, base program, I guess, they wanted uh, the team to make uh, to make a uh, flight simulator or or uh, like a rocket simulator or whatever the heck they wanted from the team. So they had to put the game on a back burner while they made that uh, simulator. Wow, our fuel tank is still pretty darn cool. Pretty darn good. Uh, but oh my god, look at the traffic behind us. No wonder people are cutting us off. That is... What is that? So from the rest stop, I saw... See that checkpoint or whatever that is? I don't know what that is. Oh no, it's getting cloudy. We're gonna get rain here, guys. Might as well turn the lights on. Uh, we gotta take a right turn. That's central Mexico. We don't want to go there. And there we go, guys. We just passed the hardest road ever. And now we're on regular highway. So we're gonna rip it now. But look how amazing the details are on the highway. Like... You can see the road markings, how it is. Uh-oh. Oh yeah, the brakes are very, very harsh. Very touchy. So, yield sign, even though it's in Spanish, we know what that means. Okay, there we go. Look at that, they have these rumble markings here to let people know that the highway is coming to an end. Look backwards. Yep. Oh yeah. We are holding everyone back. <laughs> but that is absolutely fine. <clears throat> uh, how much further? I think we just keep going straight. So let's keep going straight. I believe that says no passing. It says no bicycles. Oh my god. Pedestrians are allowed by it. But bicyclists are not allowed. How much are we holding up? The whole everyone driving in Mexico headed this way. I'm holding all of them up. <laughs> but man, I just love look at that. Look at the road texture now. That's changed as well. And that is not in the base game as well. That's so disappointing. In rig and roll, they have these concrete roads everywhere. Well, obviously, because it's a uh, 
a representation of California. And they did a really good job. No tire basura. I'm not sure if no tire is in Spanish or English. Okay, the hive is turning left. Uh, no, ah, oh, no passing, finally. No passing, Mexicali discovered. I think that's central Mexico. Uh-oh. What happened here? I think there's an accident here. What an idiot. What an idiot behind me, he almost drove into me. Man, people are so... Um, so impatient. <laughs> there we go. That looks better, doesn't it? Now we have the clouds. It's a little bit... I guess it's midday right now. I'm not sure. Uh, where are we supposed to go? We're supposed to go straight. <gasps> no more toll boots? Oh my god, no. What are the rates here? 415 pesos? I believe. Twenty-five dollars. I mean, we're in peso, so it shouldn't be twenty-five bucks. That's very expensive. Okay, we are back. Man, this is just amazing. Hundred and ten kilometers per hour. What? Wow, okay. San Luis RC. I guess we're going straight that way. Um, I guess the exit is rated for 40 kilometers per hour. And look at how amazing this looks. Wow, I'm just blown away. Oh, we're on the tollway, I guess. In order to enter the highway, you gotta pay toll as well. Man, the detail already is insane i just can't believe it i don't know how long it take how many people to make this mod because it's e huge it's extensive as you guys saw the map in the very beginning of the video uh but i keep i keep praising this mod because i mean <laughs> it's my first delivery and we've seen so much so many new things here that it's just wow blowing me away Alrighty. I cannot see the dials on my truck because they're way too small. We're going to do 55 miles per hour. And the kilometer per hour, I just cannot see. And we're coming up at a turn. How is this road rated 410 kilometers per hour? I don't know when there's a turn like this. We have industrial area right now. We have, wow, is that a power plant? All the way to the front right, we have that blue tannish looking building uh but it just looks absolutely amazing right now i love the clouds i love the mood the lighting i can actually go ahead and uh there we go no i don't like that there we go i like that to go straight aha see now it's looking nice now we have a little bit of hazy clouds oh too bad this game doesn't replicate those sounds in real life uh oh uh oh slow down slow down there we go we were speeding up way too fast because uh, we're going down in elevation for the ramp Oh man, our journey is almost over, guys. Again, comment below. What do you think about this mod so far? Because it's just amazing. Uh, like the video if you're enjoying this, which I hope you are. I hope I'm doing this right. I hope uh, this video that you're watching, it's right up your alley. Look at the roads now. They're different. You know, it's... Why couldn't the vanilla game have this much detail? I know I keep bashing it. I'm not bashing it, but... Uh, we're supposed to be taking a right. Oh, nice. Now he overtakes me. Of course. Okay, 60 kilometers per hour is the limit here. Boulevard Lazaro.
go. Uh, no left turns allowed. And we have to yield. I don't see anyone. So we're just going to go right ahead. What are you doing? Yeah, I'm overtaking this guy. This guy's an idiot. Hey, look at the details. We have power lines. We have palm trees. We have tall palm trees. I think those are palm trees, right? Okay. Uh oh, where's the road? Okay, there's the road. And pretty soon we're going to be taking a right turn here. I don't like this. Let's change it. There we go. Where's the sun? I just haven't been able to see the sun yet. Which is concerning. Because I think the new patch, uh, the lighting overhaul, should have brought the sun out. Uh, is that burger for 65 pesos? Right, can't be dollars. Even though we're paying in dollars in at the toll booth. I mean, for 25 bucks, that's extremely expensive. Yeah, I see the dollar sign. Our zone. Huh. $55 combo. It even has the mouse, mouse clicker icon on it. Electro store. Okay. I'm gonna take a right turn here. What a treat this was. Wow, look at the road. I love this road. Uh, we are at... I don't know what that name says on the map. Take another right turn here. Okay. Put the left turn sign on as we merge. Put the right turn again. Oh my god, so many merging going on here. Finally at our destination. And yes, I am applying engine brake. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm in a hurry. Let's play it safe. Whatever. Let's play it safe. Oh, that's way too safe. Let's pretend I'm not dragging my load against the wall. And, uh, yeah, there we go. What an amazing mod. Excellent. Yes. 313 kilometers driven, 26.5 gallons consumed. That's absolutely nothing. And continue. Let's go to the world map and look. Man, look at that. We just drove from Ensenada right through the mountainous trek into Mexicali. Uh, that was just amazing. Uh, the next bit of journey, I have no idea where our jobs will take us. But man, I want to go to here. Look at this road. Is this the death road? Oh my god. God, this road is insane. Wow. Wow, man. Guys, we... Oof. I don't care if no one watches these videos. I'm going to keep making them because this is insane. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. I will see you in the next episode again in Mexico. Until the very next time, guys. Enjoy.